Oke, 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 I'm back. Where have I been? You're probably wondering. For the past few months, I've been training. Training, being injured, overcoming injuries, training, grinding, offline. I like being offline. Because I've been online for so long, posting... I've posted so many videos on YouTube. I'm an OG when it comes to YouTube. And the way things are changing nowadays, everyone's shifting their focus and attention to TikTok. I can't stand TikTok. YouTube shorts, uh, uh, it's not my style. But again, you have to cater to where the attention goes. So I thought I'd make a car video since I've never done a car video before. Okay, so this is long form content. I'm gonna answer some questions. Probably your that's on your mind. Where am I heading to? I'm heading to the gym, of course. I have to train. Have to train. So first things first. Swimming. Why aren't you passing swimming videos, Justin? I want to see more swimming videos. First off, I do not have access to a pool. Previous videos that I filmed at were condo pools. So I filmed at a condo pool here in Vancouver, but I moved out of that place. And then when I was overseas, I filmed in condo pools that I was staying at. So in Thailand, in Malaysia, Korea was hard because Korea doesn't have any condo pools. So, yeah, all those videos that you saw in the past, they were me in condo pools. And those are the best pools to film and swim at if you can get access to them. So I kept saying to myself, if ever I go back to Thailand or Malaysia or a hot country, ideally hot country, and have access to a pool of film for you guys consistently. But then here's the second problem. I've covered pretty much, pretty much everything I wanted to say when it comes to swimming. There's nothing else I can tell you or teach you that I haven't said before. It's just regurgitating the same information. You've seen my videos, you can watch them again. There's a playlist, so watch those videos if you want. And when you play your one hit song for so many years, you get tired eventually. There's only so many, I'm, I'm sure every rock band like U2, they are sick and tired of playing with or without you. Where the streets have no name, their greatest hits. Yes, their greatest hits, but they're just a living, breathing jukebox. And I don't wanna be that, trapped in that endless cycle of regurgitating the same information. So, I said to myself, should I make more swimming videos for you guys? Ugh, I don't want to touch it anymore. It's just like eating the same dish every day. So what can I make videos about? Well, I want to make videos about things that I'm interested in, things that I'm pursuing. Like right now, this grind. The grind, the, the, the never-ending grind. What am I grinding? So first off, I have goals, certain goals, fitness goals that I want to achieve. And I'm working towards them. So to be specific, I'm working on getting a one-arm handstand, that's one. I'm trying to get, second thing, second goal is to work on my planche. Third goal, get the air flare. If you don't know what these things are, look them up. One-arm handstand, planche, air flare. These three things have been on my mind for a very long time and I've been grinding at them, all three of them. Easy, and the hard 
hardest part about this grind are the injuries. And I know what you say, oh, you can just work around your injuries, okay. Not this type of injury. These, in like, you can, yeah, you can hurt your knee when running. You can sprain an ankle when you're squatting. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that hurts. But this pain is on another level. I'm talking about internal, never-ending pain. Like every morning I wake up and I, I feel like I've been in a, a car accident. My whole body is just crippled in the morning. I have to slowly revive it. And I've been doing this for so long. Like I, ibuprofen is my best friend. Tylenol, Advil, all the painkillers you can name. Okay, I, I, I just take them like a, a salad, a salad full of painkillers. But I've been trying not to depend on them anymore. So that even hurts even more. So I'm grinding, never-ending grinding. I've said this before. I, I like watching speedrunners on Twitch because their grind is similar to what a real life grind is to obtain something like a one arm handstand planche, air flare you keep doing it every day same thing you make mistakes again and again you get frustrated it's just physically and mentally frustrating when you're on the grind so, if you want to get in shape, if you want to lose weight, you have to look at it like a grind. You can't do it, you can't achieve it by going once or twice a week at your local gym. No, you gotta be obsessed with the grind. It's just like, there's the peak, there's the mountain. I have to climb that. I want to get to the top and I want to get there before anyone else does or before I die. That's my mindset. My grind is to get to the peak. And I have to be obsessed with it. Because if I don't reach the peak, then life is meaningless for me. Okay? If I didn't have that goal, wouldn't work out at all so you got to find something that you want to grind for that you you're obsessed with okay, it doesn't have to be what my goals are okay it could be like okay running 10k or benching 315 or squatting five plates whatever goal that that interests you me personally Bodybuilding has never been, well it was actually, it was. I, was. I started off bodybuilding. I got interested when I was very young, when I was a teenager. Okay, I, when I was a teenager, I was in high school wrestling. And high school wrestling, the coach told us to go into the gym, work out, build muscle strength, like all that, okay? You need it when you're wrestling. So. That, coupled with Arnold Schwarzenegger and watching WWE or WWF back then, okay, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, I would watch that, okay? Muscles, yeah, I was into bodybuilding, but that phase just dropped off because bodybuilding is fun when you're young, but when you get old, it's not a good long-term plan. You can't bodybuild when you're 80 years old, okay? You can swim a kid all the way to 80. That's a good long-term plan. You can do calisthenics when you're young until you're 80. Yes, that is achievable. That is a good long-term plan. So the key, the question is, how can I do this for a very long time? What can I do that can do, I can do for a very long time? Swimming is one, calisthenics is another. 
body weight training, functional training, athletic training, at, just, just athletic training to me. Training like an athlete, training like a fighter, training like a warrior. Training like a bodybuilder, I did it before. It was fun back then, but no, not a good long-term plan. Unless I took steroids and accepted the consequences, repercussions, of what bodybuilding and steroids can do to my body. And if you don't know what will happen, just look at all the OG bodybuilders. Look at Ronnie Coleman. He can barely walk, that guy. Dorian Yates. They all look really wrinkled and old and shriveled and just just really beat up like a football player, okay? They look like football players, just like retired, like just knees are gone, everything aches, all that. So my mind shifted, okay? I wanted to be Arnold Schwarzenegger when I was young, okay? My goals shifted. Now, all it is for me is Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee. That's all I want to be. Bruce Lee, be water, be lean and fit. And funny thing is, I studied Bruce Lee a lot. I watched a lot of interviews on YouTube from people that knew him and studied him or researched him. Bruce Lee took steroids, okay? You should know this if you're a longtime fan of him. He took steroids, okay? It didn't show on his body, but performance-wise, yes. Okay, so he took steroids. He took all kinds of drugs. So you can't deny that. It's in the letters. Another fun fact, Bruce Lee couldn't swim, he couldn't sing, he couldn't cook. So he wasn't in control of his own diet, which is something that you gotta be aware of if you wanna get in shape. His wife was in charge of his diet. Chinese restaurants, okay? Or he just kept it simple, okay? Chinese food. So, he didn't know how to cook, didn't know how to sing, didn't know how to swim. I can do all three. So, in, in that sense, I'm better than Bruce Lee. And you can be better than Bruce Lee in other ways, too. Okay? So, should you learn to swim? Yeah. That's a good long-term goal. Should you learn to swim now? No. Why? Because it's June. It's too late. You are too late. When's the best time to go to the gym? Not January 1st. When's the best time to buy Christmas presents? Not December 24th. When's the best time to learn swimming? Not summertime. Summertime, everyone's thinking the same thing. I gotta get to the pool. I gotta get to the pool. Traffic is insane in every pool you can imagine during the summertime. Summertime. Wintertime, it's dead, okay? Only the seasoned veterans go in the wintertime, okay? I'm talking about swim clubs, water polo, synchronized swim, swim teams and all that. They practice all year round. But winter time, yeah, only the real swimmers stick around. They do their laps at the pool. Okay, so if you wanted to learn, if you had to learn, I would advise you to swim or start learning how to swim in the winter time. Okay, learning how to swim in the summertime it's gonna be challenging. There's just so much traffic, okay? And if you wanna to learn to drive for the first time, the best time to drive is not during rush hour, okay? So, pools are crowded starting now. So it's gonna be hard for you. But for someone like me, do I wanna swim in the summertime? Not really. But, because again, the lanes are going to be so full. And a funny thing about here in North America is that after the pandemic, all these swim clubs and swim teams and swim groups 
started booking local pools. I started booking up all the spots, right, to make up for lost time. So they have a whole list of students that were inactive for a year or two, so they had to catch up. So they booked more hours. So all I noticed that every local pool is booked by swim teams, clubs, groups, associations, all that. There's no space to swim. There's nowhere to swim. And this is all year round now. So it goes back to what I was saying in the beginning. If I were to film, if I were to start swimming and grinding again, I would have to go train at a condo pool. Ideally, a condo pool with hot weather all year round. Those places for me were Thailand and Malaysia. Do I want to go back to those two places? Yes! I'm working on it. I am working on it. Believe me. Believe me, I am working on it. Okay? So, what's easier than swimming in the summertime? Well, going to the gym. Fun fact is that pool season and gym seasons are like the opposites, okay? Gym, gyms are packed in the wintertime, January 1st. Pools are packed in the summertime, June 1st. Now that it's June, everyone's going out, okay? Everyone's going on vacation, they're going outside, they're enjoying the outdoors, the beaches, taking time off and all that, okay? They, they want to you know, show off their bodies and all that shirtless, so, okay? So that is the best time to learn, actually, to, or to get in shape, summertime. Gyms won't be as packed compared to January. So you got a little bit more wiggle room to work with. Now, to get in shape, you need to be obsessed with something. Something, okay? Whatever that goal is, you have to grind it. You have to look at it as a grind. Okay? You don't take time off when you're grinding. Oh, I'll take two weeks off. I'll, I'll take, I, I'm sore. And, and my body needs a break. No. You go. You show up. Oh, it's raining. No. You go. You keep going. You show. Uh, uh, this, uh, that. You're not really grinding that. You're doing it part time. Which is fine, but it's going to take you twice as long. Three times as long. Okay? You're going to be like, this is not worth the investment. You want to get results in three months or three years okay so you have to be obsessed because when you're obsessed with something you will push yourself to the limit like I do okay why do I get injured so many times it's, it's not because I'm reckless or it's because you know, I'm a fool no it's because I keep testing my boundaries I keep pushing it I keep going to the next the next yes there there are peaks and valleys when it comes to training like some days you are so injured or so sore that you have to go take it one step down but when you recover on the next day or two days later then you got to push it you got to keep pushing it and it's eventually the peaks and valleys go up and up and up towards the final descent right So, I'll give you a, a, one example. Every time I, I go to a gym, I see someone nowadays trying to do muscle ups. They're trying to learn to do the muscle up. Okay? I, I'll, I'll give you the scenario, right? I can see it in their eyes. Like they, a kid, a kid sees a pull up bar at their gym, so he looks at the bar contemplates, he thinks about 
people around him. Oh, what, what are they going to say? What are they going to think if he tries it and he fails? He hesitates. He plays with the smartphone. After 15 minutes of watching TikTok videos, then he tries to put chalk on his hands or something, and then he takes breath, a big breath, and then he, he does a half-assed chicken wing muscle up that doesn't work, and he fails. And then he just goes home. That's it. I'll give you another scenario, okay? Um, a girl thinks about doing a handstand at her gym. Okay, she sees a space where she can do it with her own stretching. She thinks about what everyone's thinking. She's afraid that everyone's gonna laugh at her if she fails. She thinks, she plays with her smartphone. One hour after browsing Instagram, she puts her phone down and musters up the courage and then she does one handstand. She gets up and over and then she falls flat on her ass and then she's done for the day. That's just one attempt. You need volume, crazy volume in the beginning. Okay, whatever it is. I don't care if it's, I don't know, learning handstand, learning a muscle up, learning how to do squats. You need volume in the beginning. beginning. You need lots of volume, okay? The more attempts you put in, the more you learn, the more you, you give yourself feedback, okay? You, everyone's expecting perfection in the beginning. There's never, like right now, this video, I'm not expecting anything. I gotta go back to volume. I'm gonna make a ton of crappy videos before I can start refining this routine again. It's a grind. YouTube is a grind. So, don't worry about what you see on social media, what you see others doing, like, oh, that guy has a perfect planche, that, that girl has a perfect handstand, that, that guy has a perfect muscle up. Okay, you've been programmed to see perfection everywhere. Okay, and then you do it, and it's the complete opposite. You look like a, like an idiot. Oh my God, I fell. Oh my God, I can't do it. Oh, ha, ha, ha. everyone laughs at you, giggles. So, go for crazy amounts of volume. When you're grinding, you have to vol start with volume first. And then, eventually, it starts refining, okay? You get better over time, okay? So, I'll give you another analogy. Like, a baby learns to walk, okay? Baby stands up for a few seconds, and then it lands on its butt. Does everyone around him laugh? No. Baby, get up and try again. Yes. Baby asks you, Wow, you can stand on your two legs. How do you do it? That looks amazing. And you think to yourself, I've been doing this for so long. It's, it's nothing. I, I don't even think about it. So when I do a handstand or muscle up or whatever, people come up to me, Wow, how do you do that? That looks amazing. Oh my God. And I think to myself, I've been doing this for so long. I started with volume, crazy amounts of volume, okay? Lots and lots of volumes, lots of attempts. Failed, 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 failed. You have to fail a lot. So, you're not pushing yourself hard enough, is what I'm saying, okay? You have to put more volume into what you're doing. fail a lot. And I just see it everywhere. Like, they don't, people don't push themselves, okay? If you really want it, if you really want to muscle up, you gotta keep going, grinding, grinding, grinding. These young, these are young kids, some of these guys. And like, I don't know, like, there's like these really fit athlete guys, athletic guys, and they're just like cowards. They just do one attempt, two attempts maximum, and then they go home. And then they come back next week and they, one attempt, Two attempts maximum, and then they fail, and they go home. But how, how long is it going to take you to achieve this? It's going to take you, what, 10 years? I want it now. I say, I say to myself, I want air flare now. I want one arm handstand now. I want the planche now. So 
that's why I keep on getting injured. That's why I, I wake up crippled every morning. I'm just pushing myself, grinding. Grinding, grinding. That's all I'll do is grind. I grind so much that that's all I do is grind and recover. Eat, sleep, train. Eat, sleep, train. Eat, sleep, train. Clean my room, clean the bathroom. Get groceries. Meal prep. Cook. It's all stuff I do in, in between. But we need three things. Eat, sleep, train. Eat, sleep, train. Eat, sleep, train. Eat, sleep, train. You get on that that cycle of eat, sleep, train. And it's a good cycle. It's a good spiral. It's a good upward spiral. So, another thing I want to say is that a lot of you go to the gym or not. Actually, this is this message for the people that do go to the gyms. A lot of you are unbalanced. You have an unbalanced approach to training. A lot of you. 99% of you. I'll give you an example. A guy shows up to the gym. He goes straight to the bench does the bench, plays with the smartphone, does the bench, plays with the smartphone, does the bench, goes home. That's it. Girl shows up to the gym. Uh, she sets up her barbell hip thrust, plays with the smartphone, barbell hip thrust, plays with the smartphone, barbell hip thrust, hip thrust, plays with the smartphone, goes home. You didn't do your cardio, you didn't do your stretching, you didn't do your mobility, you didn't work on any skills, you didn't work on speed. All you worked on was strength. Strength is just one out of five components. First is stamina. Second is stretching. Third is speed. Fourth is strength. Fourth is strength. Fifth is skills. Okay, Five components to fitness. You tackle all five in every training session. That's what you have to do. Okay, That is a holistic approach. A balanced, a complete meal when it comes to training. A lot of you don't warm up. You gotta warm up first. You gotta warm up your body, okay? 10, 15 minutes on the treadmill. 10, 15 minutes of rowing. 10, 15 minutes of the bike. 10, 15 minutes of jumping rope. You gotta warm up. Stamina. After that, stretching and mobility, okay? Mobility, you do foam rollers. You stretch those aching muscles. That stretch, you move, loosen your muscles. These kids. We're headed for destruction. To just you're ending you're gonna end up crippling your back, disabling yourself. Maybe not tomorrow, but I can see your future. You're not working on the other components. A lot of people don't do this. Strength, 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 strength. Lift the barbell. That's just one. One. So you warm up, and then your mobility, and then speed. Okay, the third component, speed. You gotta work on agility. Agility, you gotta learn to, to tighten your reflexes, okay? When shit goes down in real life, you need to be aware, you need to be alert, you need to think fast. You can't think fast if all you've been training is slow strength. Slow. You are the first to die when there's a terrorist attack, when there's a stabbing, when there's a bomb threat, when something where people, most average people say, it all happened so fast. It didn't happen so fast. Your reflexes are slow. You didn't work on speed. It all happened so fast. I couldn't even think. It's because you haven't practiced. So work on the speed. What works? Your speed? Sprints. Okay? 
jump rope, okay? You gotta think when you speed rope in particular. Boxing, martial arts, speed, speed, okay? Medicine ball drills, throwing a medicine ball against the wall or the floor. Speed, you gotta think of speed, okay? Throwing a punch, throwing a faster kick. Speed is another, is complementary to strength. And then skills, okay? Working on skills, like, okay, then you work on things like muscle ups or how to squat properly, okay? At all kinds of time, but think about it, okay? If you have questions, Ask me in the comment section. I can make a follow-up video. But these are the things that are on my mind these days. So I'm going to work out. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.